All right, it's time to start our next project. We've had a lot of time and a lot of fun playing around with type, learning how to push it around, how to make it elastic, how to explore just the more experiential aspects of type. But in reality, we have real clients and we have real projects and eventually we have to kind of get back to reality and apply our creative typography to real concrete projects. So for this project, we're going to have a little bit of fun. Uh, so the fun doesn't end. It just gets a little bit more, shall we say, constrained. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to design a, uh, a gallery brochure for an art movement. And this brochure is going to basically, you know, talk about what the movement is and who the dominant artists of the movement are. And we're going to use typography uh, in a more more controlled environment, but at the same time, it doesn't mean we have to stop playing with it. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use graphics imagery, we're gonna use um, uh, graphic continuity elements and typography to tell the story of this movement. And we're going to be taking the, the influences of our design from the movement. So whichever movement you choose, it's going to have certain artistic and visual qualities. And these qualities will drive your interpretation of how you actually uh, apply the content. So it's gonna be fun, but it's also gonna be a little bit more controlled. like. You know, like I keep saying, we've got real clients and we have real projects. And at a certain point, we have to get real and start to, you know, focus on making creative, but also useful and um, effective design. So we're going to balance all of these elements together into a um, into a multi-page document. And this document will then um, exhibit all of the things you've learned in typography, but you'll be applying it to a style. So it should be a pretty fun project um, and it should have a lot of potential and it certainly should become one of your uh, cornerstone por por your one of your cornerstone portfolio pieces uh, when you uh, put your final portfolio together. Okay, so let's have some fun with this and um, let's have some fun.